sequential search and string matching are examples for brute force sequential search i am not going to discuss in detail uh, because we have already discussed in the unit one this is the algorithm for your reference i have put in the slide uh, next one is brute force string matching here the problem is to find the substring in the text that matches the pattern input is uh, two strings one is text string containing n characters and another string is pattern which contains n characters the overall idea of the algorithm is to uh, align uh, pattern at beginning of the text and uh, next is you are required to compare each character of the pattern to the corresponding character in the text until all characters are found to match or a mismatch is detected if all characters are found to match then it is successful search return uh, index or otherwise you are required to realign the pattern one position to the right and uh, repeat the step two while pattern is not is not found and the text is not yet exhausted this is the overall idea of the brute force string matching algorithm we'll see with the examples the first example here is text with 21 characters ramachandra pravina uh, and the pattern rama with four characters uh, here first step as discussed in the previous uh, slide text is to be aligned with the pattern so we have done this uh, compare the first character of the pattern with the first character of the text so it's matching here also it's matching so totally we have done four comparisons in chandran if there are m characters in the pattern then number of comparison in the best case is four so in the best case it is it, it belongs to theta of m A next example is for average case i don't want to discuss in detail just find out how many comparisons is being made in this uh, for this example next one is a uh, example for worst case the text containing seven character here and the pattern with four characters this is the pattern and text uh, is taken here we'll see in the worst case how many comparisons is required in general so align as usual first character of the text is to be aligned with the first character of the pattern so i have aligned that now start making the comparison all three characters is being match match except the last one so when i equal to 0 after doing four comparisons uh, like uh, fourth character is not matched so again you have to realign the pattern one character towards right so this is the next iteration i equal to 1 again uh, in the fourth comparison there's a mismatch so again i gets incremented now i equal to 2 when i equal to 2 again four comparisons when i equal to 3 all the characters of the pattern is matched with the text so with this what i can say is uh, like when i equal to 0 4 and 1 4 comparison when i equal to 2 again 4 3 4 comparison totally 16 comparisons is being made in general if there are n characters in text and 
m characters in pattern total number of comparisons made in the worst case is equivalent to n minus m plus 1 into m it's equal to in this example 16 so with this example it is easy to write the pseudo code for this algorithm look at what we have done here is i is varied from 0 n minus m n here is 7 and m is 4 to that is equal to 3 so i should be varied from 0 to n minus m that is what is being done here and then every character of the pattern is to be matched with the text for that use the index j for pattern set j equal to 0 initially so j equal to 0 and all the characters of the pattern is to be matched with the text character so now the first character of the pattern is matched with the text character in case if it matches increment j and this is to be done how long till j less than m because number of characters contained in the pattern is m so if both if this both condition is true or if you are coming out of this loop with this condition j equal to m that means all the characters of the pattern is matched with the text character now written i as the index where you found the pattern this is successful search otherwise again i gets incremented this process will be continued so when i equal to n minus m in case if you don't find any such pattern it will return minus 1 now it's easy to understand this algorithm so brute force string matching here two inputs one is text and the pattern text with n character pattern with m characters in order to find the pattern in the text vary i from 0 to n minus m j equal to 0 while j less than m and pi equal sorry pj equal to ti plus j in case if this pattern character is equal to text character then increment the j so if all the characters of the pattern is matched with a the text then you will be coming out of the loop with this condition j equal to m so return i i is the index where you found the pattern again in case if you are not coming out of the loop with j equal to m then search will be continued how long till n minus m once i value equal to n minus m plus 1 it will come out of the loop and it will return the value minus 1 we will see now analysis part of it so i is to be varied from 0 to n minus m okay so i is to be varied from 0 to n minus m and j from look at here j from 0 to m minus 1 0 to m minus 1 and in each iteration the basic operation what you are performing is comparison so one comparison simplify the inner loop that is m minus 1 minus 0 plus 1 is m and when you simplify this uh, m into n minus m plus 1 it's it, this belong to theta of 
n into m. So now we will see here strengths and weaknesses of brute force. Strength is it is widely, widely applicable to almost all the problem and it is simple to implement and needs uh, reasonable algorithms for some important problems like uh, matrix multiplication, sorting, searching, string matching, etc. Its weakness is it is not that efficient algorithm. Time taken to find the solution is more in this uh, brute force. It's very very slow and not as constructive as some other design techniques like divide and conquer, decrease and conquer, branch and bound, backtracking, greedy and dynamic. So we will see with the example why it is not that efficient. What made us to say brute force is not that efficient compared to other design technique with the example of exhaustive search approach in the next video. Thank you.